going to our desktop. And there we see we have our webinar folder. And there are the six files that I exported to a comma delimited file format. And you'll also see every time you do an export, you get a log file in here, just so you see exactly which files were exported and you know that there weren't any errors in the processing. So that is the bulk export tool. And the purpose of that is to, for those users who really need their data into an external application and they want to get it out quickly in a format that's very specific to what they need, that is how they can go about doing this. So another time-saving option, which would apply to users who may have several of the same type of loggers, that they need to launch them all at the same time with the same parameters, we'll go ahead and go and look at some time-saving features. So for launching, the typical user that only has a few loggers may would have want to see the launch screen every time to configure parameters. But if you have many loggers to launch and you know that every launch screen will have the same parameters, you can go ahead and select automatically launch. The next choice that you'll have to make is if you'd like to automatically launch with the settings that are in the current logger or the settings from the previous launch. So if I just launched a U12 and I knew that the settings I put into the launch window were exactly what I wanted for my next 15 u 12 I'd go ahead and select previous launch. Now that I've done this, I can hit OK, go to default action, and this is the action that will occur on USB plug-in of your logger. And I select launch. So now at this point, with my 15 other U12s I still need to launch, all I have to do is plug them in and unplug them. And they will automatically launch with the contents of my last launch. And I would save myself two to three click-throughs on um, Windows to speed up my process. Now a similar time-saving options can be applied at readout. So if I have several loggers I need to read out, and I would only like to save the data file and not view the plot, I'll go ahead and automatically save to the default save directory. And I'll go ahead and select Do Not Plot. Now when I read out, this file automatically goes to my default directory where I saved previously, and I do not have to see a file browser, and I do not have to see the plot setup window. So with many loggers, saving two clicks could save yourself a considerable amount of time. Also, you most likely would want to uncheck this box so you are not asked to stop logging before reading out a running logger. If you know that you do not need this prompt, you can go ahead and uncheck it and save yourself yet another click. So those are the time-saving features that we wanted to run through today. And that brings us to time for questions. So we'll go ahead and open up for anyone who would like to enter questions. All right. Let's see. For Mark, I believe we have a question, the best defaults for Excel. So if we go over here into preferences, and that would be in reference to the export settings. And for Excel, you want to comma delimit. And it is, some of these are up to you based on your application if you would like to see um, the plot title in the header. Um, it is recommended to separate the date and time into two columns because then Excel will be able to, in a more easy fashion, understand that what is the date and what is the time. Again, it is acceptable either to have the logger serum and birth sensor serum in the column header or not. So our, our general recommendation for Excel is to make sure you have comma selected and to separate the date and time into two columns. Then when Excel is trying to process your data, it has a better idea that you're trying to input date and time. And if anyone else had questions, we do still have a moment if you would like to type in your question. All right, well, thank you so much, Elena. That information was very useful. And if you'd like to discuss any upcoming uh, monitoring projects in greater detail or send us any questions regarding Hobleware, oh, actually, it looks like we have another question that just came in. <laughs> 
All right. Um, since we do have a moment, we'll go ahead and is there a way to merge multiple files from the same data logger? And currently in Hoboware 273, there is not a way to do that. Um, so. Oh, we have another question coming in. Sorry, trimmed a bit. Okay. Are data systems automatically available or do they have to be purchased separately? Great question. Data systems actually are included with Hoboware. So when you open a file, I'll choose one that has data systems with it. You should see here, these should be pre-installed with Hoboware. And if they are not, they are downloadable from the website and you can load them in manually if you download them and then you can load them in at that point. But if you do have a standard typical install of Hoboware, you should see these in the list if you have measurement types that support the data assistance. Did anyone else have any other questions they'd like to type in? And actually, in answer to, to the question, do you accept ideas for new data assistance? Absolutely. Um, if you would like to email one of our sales associates, they would be happy to um, take your input. Well, if you don't have any other questions, um, you can, and if you do have additional questions, you can also submit them to our um, application specialists at sales at onsetcomp.com. And if you visit our web website, onsetcomp.com, you can download a free version of ho our Hoboware software. Uh, and, and this concludes our webinar. Thanks so much.